In round three, start with one chain stitch, then work a set of one single crochet, one increase for six times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first, yarn round hook, and pull the yarn through the loop on hook. The chain stitch at the beginning is to raise the height and will not be counted into a number of stitches. Then work one single crochet in the first stitch, where we just work the slip stitch of last round. Insert hook into the first stitch, yarn around the hook, and pull out the loop through the stitch. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. That's one single crochet. Place a marker in the first single crochet through the underneath of both loops of the V-shape. In the next stitch, work one increase. We need to work two single crochets in the same stitch. One single crochet is down. Then work one more single crochet in the same stitch. That's one increase. Now one single crochet and one increase are finished. One set is down. We work one single crochet and one increase as one set. Keep working 5 more sets. Now the second set. Work one single crochet in the next stitch. Then in the next stitch, work one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. The second set is down. The third set. Work one single crochet first. Next, work one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. This third set is down. The fourth set, one single crochet. Next, one increase. The fifth set, one single crochet first. Next, one increase.
Now the sixth set, one single crochet. In the next stitch, work one increase. Six sets are finished. Now skip the slip stitch of previous round and the chain stitch of this round. We'll work one slip stitch in the marked stitch. Remove the marker. Work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Make sure to tighten the yarn when working the slip stitch. Round 3 is done. 